Hi, I'm Kai and today I want to show you my first animated video on my channel. The topic of the video is functional engineering. I know that many people already use functional engineering, but I also know that many people don't. And with this small animated video, I want to show you a small story, how it can become a successful story in your company. So stay tuned. This is Paul. Paul is a product designer. And this is Erika. Erika is an electrical designer. Of course, Paul and Erika do not sit together in an office, but they work on the same projects and the same machines. At the Christmas party of the company, the two finally get to know each other personally. They talk a little bit about their projects and the machines. And then Marcel comes along. Marcel is a mechatronic engineer and he is responsible for the service and maintenance of the machines. In addition to Marcel, Horst joined the group. He is doing the hydraulic design. And then also comes Dagmar. Dagmar is responsible for the technical documentation. Marcel explained a bit from his daily work and the problems he has when he makes the service. That he finds different device tags and designations for the same components in the different documentations. And then Dagmar has a problem that she has to describe the whole thing somehow in the technical documentation. Of course, everyone understands this and they try to standardize the whole thing. After the Christmas party, everyone goes to the boss and explains the new idea to him. Of course, the boss argues with the usual arguments. We have never done that before. We do that when we have a lot of time. Why should we change that? A week later, customer XY comes around the corner. He would like to buy five machines. Three machines of the type same like as and two machines of the type same like as but. Customer XY has a large factory, which he has already structured very well, because he has its own service team and it is important to him that the five machines are designed according to IEC 81346 so that it's easier for the service staff to maintain them. The two agree to deal and customer XY buys the five machines. The next day, the boss informs his team about the requirements of the project. This should consist of function designation, location designation and device tag according to IEC 81346. Furthermore, the document type according to 61355. The function designation should identify the individual functions of the machine. The location designation, the place where the whole thing on the machine is located. And in addition, the device tag should be taken from the table of IC 81346 and consists of two identification letters. The document type is created according to EN 61355 and so now everyone knows what to do. The team sit together and determines the structure of the project and also the associated identification letters and numbers. So that afterwards everyone knows what they are talking about, the hydraulic engineer can use the same designation for the valves as Erika does in her circuit diagram. Now everyone is working together on the same project and can also exchange information with each other over short distance. Marcel, who is always doing the service, is of course available by phone and is grateful if he gets some feedback or can provide assistance. And one person we have completely forgotten in the whole topic, and that is Sasha. Sasha is a software engineer and was not at the Christmas party, because during this time he had to do the commissioning for a machine. If you look at the work of Sasha a little closer, then you will find that Sasha has always worked functional orientated. And therefore, Sasha belongs, of course, also to the team. So, now we have all the different departments working together and everybody knows a little bit more from each other. They can exchange now the information and the hydraulic guy, for example, knows how to give the device tag for his valve and the electrical designer also know this. The mechanical designer can use in his 3D model to write sensor from the electrical designer, for example, 
and also for the integration of an ERP system, this is also very useful when everybody talk about the same things. If you have such a structure in your project, the collaboration between the departments will be much more easier. So please share your experience with functional engineering in your company. Do you use it already? Do you like it or you don't like it? Please write it in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.